ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marissa and today I am doing my December TBR. So if you guys have been watching my recent videos, you will know that I failed hard on doing my November TBR. I got completely distracted and ended up picking up the Stormlight Archive and each one of those books is over a thousand pages long. So they've taken me quite a bit to read every single one of them and I did not even pick up one book from my November TBR. So yeah, that's how that's going. Um, so I am going to tentatively set a December TBR, which is pretty much going to be exactly the same as my November TBR with one more addition. Um, so Rhythm of a War is the fourth book in the Stormlight Archive. I anticipate being done with the first three by the end of November and picking up Rhythm of War at the beginning of December and finishing that one. Now that said, those are very, very chunky books and they do take me a while to read. So so I can't guarantee that I'm going to get to any of the next books that are on my TBR. So the first one is going to be House of Leaves by Mark Danielewski. Um, again, this one I really don't know a whole lot about except for the fact that it is in a interesting mixed media format and that um, it's probably going to take me a while to read because this is also a very chunky book so I guess we shall see. So the next one again this one is Two Nights by Kathy Reichs um, and this is the author that wrote Bones um, like the Bones series that got turned into a TV show. I didn't even realize it was books but I am hoping that I love this story just as much as watching the Bones TV show even though this book isn't set in the same universe but anyway. So of course the next one I have is a sci-fi this is Aftershocks by Marco Cluse, and I actually got this out of a Scribbler box. Um, I'm generally not huge on sci-fi, though I have been getting more into it, hence the Red Rising series that I have been reading very diligently lately. So I'm hoping that maybe I will actually enjoy this one now that I've kind of taken more of a, a foray into reading science fiction. So we shall see. And then the last one is actually by an indie author. This I picked up at my local bookstore a year ago in November, um, and this is is The Unfavorable by Samantha Ridenour. This is interesting because it doesn't even have anything on the spine, so it's just black, like a black binding sitting there on my shelf, so it's interesting and it's gotten forgotten. That's why it was sitting there for over a year. So yeah, we shall see if I get to any of these books. So that is all I have for you guys today and I hope I will see you in my next one. Bye bye Thank you so much for watching my video. I upload every Wednesday and Saturday and I would really love it if you would like, comment, and subscribe to my videos. Have a great day!